Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today Google released Android 14 beta 5.2 and I have it installed on my Pixel 7 Pro. This is just a minor update but I found some small tweaks that I'm gonna share with you today. So without further ado, let's jump in. So let's start with the build number and here I have UPB5.230623.006. The first change is under the home screen settings and then search your phone and now you'll find one extra toggle called Google Play Store Suggestions. And previously this feature was working automatically, but now you have the ability to turn it off if you want. And I also found the results to be more consistent. Previously, sometimes it shows the results, sometimes it doesn't. But now every time I search for an app, I always see the suggestions coming from Google Play Store. So it's a bit more consistent than before. Change number two is the cinematic wallpaper is finally available on Android 14 after installing this build. So here I have it on my Pixel 7 Pro. When I choose one of the photos from my gallery, now I have the cinematic wallpaper switch. Change number three is in the sound and vibration card. In the previous betas, it used to slide to the side when you dismiss it, but now it slides to the bottom, same as the stable version, which is better. So these are the minor tweaks I found in this build. Now let's talk about the bugs I still have on my Pixel 7 Pro, which might help Google fix them in future software updates. And the first one is related to the clipboard pop-up. When I copy text while having the keyboard showing, the pop-up doesn't appear on top of the keyboard like before, but it only show up when I minimize the keyboard and hit copy. Now I see it here at the bottom left corner, so it seems like the keyboard is hiding the pop-up for some reason. The second issue is when I try to edit the clock widget and then go back to the home screen, you will notice here this weird animation and the wallpaper disappears for a few seconds and then comes back. Number three is when you tap on the nearby share tile, you get this black screen first and then the card shows up from the bottom, which is kind of slow and looks weird as well. Number four is the widget speaker has this kind of weird gaps between the text and the widget. You see it right here and here as well. And for reference, here is the stable version. As you see, the space between the text and the widget is much less. Issue number five is one of the clock styles under the wallpaper and the style app is currently missing. Previously, we used to have nine different styles, but now they are only eight. Another bug under the wallpaper and the style app when you go to the stock wallpapers and download any of them like this and then go back to the previous page you will see that the wallpaper is still under the undownloaded section but you have to quit this page and go inside one more time to see it at the top and finally when you tap on the call chip at the top you will get this laggy animation as you see here when i tap on it it doesn't work as smooth as before now let's talk about the performance and battery life. Starting with the performance, I think the app launching speed is noticeably better than before. Even though I don't have any apps running in the background, when I open apps, it loads immediately. You will see here that everything loads as if it's already in the background. So that seems to be better with this build. But when it comes to battery life, I think it's pretty much the same. So here I have screen on time, four hours and 20 minutes and I have 27% battery remaining and I used only Wi-Fi. So it's pretty much the same as before, no improvement, but certainly the app launching speed is much better. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to show you in Android 14 beta 5.2. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.